This is a quick video on the social self. The source of this video is from my own summary of the Psi 234 course from Macquarie University, Social Psychology. So, individuals, or as humans, we experience the spotlight effect, which is the tendency to be self-conscious. We pay too much attention to our appearance and behaviours. We also suffer from the illusion of transparency, in which we think others can easily read our concealed emotions. James proposed, according to his self-concept theory, that individuals have two perceptions of the self. They include the I stream of consciousness and the me as an object of perception. The I is thus our core self, what we desire, what we want, our memories, consciousness, perception, yada yada. While the me, we see that as an object as something existing in reality and interacting with other people, groups, society, etc. Self-reference effect. The self-reference effect is how individuals process information quicker that is relevant to oneself and even remember it better as opposed to information about other people. Social identity theory states that groups the individuals belong to can influence and affect their identity. Individuals also make social comparisons, whereby they evaluate themselves against others or individuals from other groups, such as uh, comparing downwardly, like Schadenfreude, and upwardly, like Envy. Additionally, self-esteem is the self-evaluation of self-worth. Individuals are motivated to make self-enhancing attributions in failure. Wood et al. in 2009 stated that saying I am a lovable person for four minutes made self-esteem feel worse. Furthermore, self-knowledge are self-schemas that store cognitive information about oneself in context-specific nodes in which different contexts activate, well, different self-nodes. Different moods, different effects, different memories, etc, etc. Over-justification is when in an absence of external determinant for behaviour, Individuals assume freely chosen behavior because we enjoy it. So as a result, external incentives can decrease intrinsic motivation. So for example, if I like to paint a picture just for the sheer thrill of painting a picture, then that would be intrinsic motivation for it. If I was being paid to paint a picture, then I would attribute the joy of painting a picture to merely just making money off of it or external determinant for a behaviour. Individuals may suffer from what is termed the Dunning-Kruger effect in which people with low ability may have a sense of illusory superiority and they mistakenly overestimate their competence as a result. Because after all, what you do not know about what you do not know may cause people to be overconfident since they don't really know about what they don't know. Anyway, effective forecasting are when individuals predict feelings and this has impact bias defined as the overestimating of enduring impacts of emotion that causes an event. So in essence, an example of effective forecasting is predicting uh, how happy we would feel if we won the lotto, if we lost weight, if we got our dream job and thus this produces impact bias because we overestimate the impact of the significant event when in reality once you get the very thing you've wanted individuals usually don't live up to that expectation Additionally, sociometer is defined as one's inclusion status and it helps us to measure and make us notice and feel bad if we lose social connections. Self-serving bias are attributional distortions that protect, enhance 
our self-esteem. For example, we take credit for success and blame failure on others. We see ourselves as better than average. This which helps to improve our self-esteem and thus it is, well, a self-serving bias. False consensus is the notion in which we see our own opinion as being the typical when in reality it may not be so. Finally, there is false uniqueness, which is the tendency to underestimate commonality of our desired behaviors. For example, musical ability. Individuals who, let's say, play the piano may believe they're the only ones, I don't know, playing the piano. Basically, false uniqueness is the opposite of false consensus. In conclusion, this video on the social self covered the spotlight effect, illusions of transparency, the self-concept according to James, whether it be the I or the me, the self-reference effect, the social identity theory, social comparisons, self-esteem, Wood et al. 2009 research on saying I'm a lovable person. We also looked at self-knowledge, over-justification, the Dunning-Kruger effect, effective forecasting and impact bias, sociometer, self-serving bias, false consensus and false uniqueness. Next video, I will talk about the social psychology of emotions. So yeah, thanks for watching once again.